Let's pull everything together now and have a go at a typical exam question. An equilibrium was established when 417 grams of PCl5 was heated in a 20 decimeter cubed vessel at a temperature of 500 K. They've only given you the temperature because Kc is affected by temperature. It's nothing to do with the question. You're not going to need it. And then it tells us at equilibrium, a certain amount was present. So we've got an initial amount here, was heated, was beginning. And at equilibrium, at equilibrium, we've got 85.2 grams of Cl. Right, we're in an exam. Got a lot of numbers. We're getting a bit of a face by it all. Do what you can. Write the expression. Get two marks. Write the expression and get the units. So PCL3. Remember, it's product concentration, square brackets, essential, over reactance concentration, taking account of any stoichiometry. Units, got two lots of concentration over one. So it's just the units of concentration, moles per decimeter cubed. I've got two marks now, and I haven't done anything on my calculator. Right, now comes my rice method. So what was the ratio? Well, the ratio was one, one, and one. And the bold line goes where my reversible arrow goes. What were my initial moles? So let's go back and find them. Well, we weren't given moles, so we've got a bit of work to do. Our initial moles, we weren't given, but we were given 417, was it, grams of PCL5. So the first thing we need to do is divide that by the MR to get how many moles that was initially. Two. How many moles of products did we have at the start? Well, we didn't have any. We didn't put any of those in. Right, the next thing that you can do, remember, is you go and you can find one thing that you've been given about equilibrium. And we were given something about Cl2, but we weren't given moles, we were given mass. So we're going to need to convert it by dividing by the MR. And given that the MR is um, 71, then we can work out what that is in moles. So 85.2 divided by 71 is 1.2. So here we are with our uh, enough information to do our rice method. Find the one change you can find. Which two lines should be the same? Remember it's this line and this line that are in the same proportions. So 1 to 1 to 1 is 1 1.2 to 1 1.2 to 1 1.2. Remember that products go up, the bold line separates them, reactants go down. Apply the change to the initial amount. 2 take away 1.2 is 0 0.8. 0 add 1.2 is 1.2. So it's rice and now comes find concentrations. And remember that concentrations is moles over volume. They're all in the same container, and the container has a volume of 20 decimeters cubed. It's already in decimeters cubed. So we're just going to take it and divide by 20. So 0.8 over 20, 0.04. 1.2 over 20, 0.06. 1.2 over 20, 0.06. Put those into your expression for KC and work me out a you, uh, an answer. So I'm getting off the calculator 0.09, but given that all the numbers were given to three significant figures, I'm going to give my answer as 0.9900, three significant figures. So it's your go. Why don't you pause the video and have a go at this problem? When you unpause, we'll work through the answer. So the first thing to check is whether you got the KC expression right and the units right. Did you fill in the initial moles line correctly? Did you get the right equilibrium moles? And then your first change. If 4 is 0.6, Remember, ratio and change are in the same proportions. Then 1 is a quarter of 0 0.6, which is 0 0.15. And 2 is half of 0 0.6, which is 0 0.3. And remember that products go up and reactants go down. Apply those and get your equilibrium amounts. So did you manage to put the...
convert those moles into concentrations by dividing by the volume, which was 10 decimeters cubed, and then put those numbers into your expression for Kc. So remember you had products, but they were squared, divided by reactant. Now you're going to have to use that to the power 4 button, which is the little x to the box, and put a 4 in the box. Calculate that on your calculator now. And give your answer to three significant figures. And remember, we worked out the units already. Put them in. So we've got one last example here, and we've not been given the right method space. We're going to do that ourselves. But the first thing I'm going to do is gain some marks. NO2 squared over N2 over 4. C squared over C, which is just the units of concentration. So I'm just making sure I get some credit for knowing some things. Right, how would we set up the rice? Well, we're in an exam and we don't necessarily want to draw out a big table. So we can rewrite our equation with our arrow like that. And then we can write rice and then concentration at the bottom. The ratio is 1 to 2. The initial amount. So go back up to the top and find the initial amounts. Told you one mole of this was mixed, so there was no products at the start. And at equilibrium, 50% had dissociated. That means 50% of my starting amount has been used up. Dissociated means broken down. So what's 50% of one? So my change is I've used up 50%. I've got 50% left because I used up 50%. But if it had said I dissociated 75%, then it's the change that would be the 75%, not the equilibrium amount. Now if that change is minus 0.5, then this change is plus something. But remember, R and C have to be in the same proportions. So it's actually plus 1. It's 1.0. And remember that concentration is moles over volume. And our volume is 10 already in decimeters cubed. So we're going to divide by 10. And then put those into your expression and get an answer. So 0.1 squared over 0.05 equals 0.2. And we worked out that the units were moles per decimeter cubed.